los combustibles químicos como estamos son suficientes y no los exigirán los usos. Los estamos muy importantes también por los hello, temas de las Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, teacher. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. okay. Welcome back one more time to our English class. Welcome to English Corporativo. Today is that Wednesday, October the second, and we are in beginner three. The module is beginner three. So welcome Gabriel, Miguel, and Patricia. How are you today? I'm great. Great. Excellent. Hi, thank you, teacher. Right. Very good. Right. My day was terrific. Excellent. Very good. Good for you, Gabriel. Thank where you. Do, where do you work, Gabriel? I am manager in Huevos Catalana. Oh, very good. We may have a, a good discount. <laughs> yes. Very good. And you, Patricia, where do you work? I am a cooking chair. Uh -huh. I am um, este a, a cookie. You cook? I, I work. Ah. Where? Sí. Yes. Where? In a restaurant? In a uh, since, um, no. Mm, yes, Cristobal Colón. Ah, the school. School. Cristóbal mm. Colón School. School. Ah, okay. Very good. Sí. Miguel, mm -hmm. how are you, Miguel? Mm -hmm. And you, what do you do, Miguel? Where do you work? Uh, I work uh, a accountant. Accountant? Okay. Ah. Okay, I don't get it very well, but... Excellent. Who is watching the class? Okay, we are going to start today. Ah, more students are coming. Joanna, welcome. Margarita, welcome. Okay, uh, last class we started talking about questions with what or where. Remember? Um, ¿Quién está viendo tele? Que se oye todo. Today, to have a review on questions with class, <coughs> I want to show you this, this chart. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you see this? 
I have some acti an, an activity for you to practice questions with was or and where. Was and where. The activity is called when I was a child. When I was a child. Okay. Do you understand this? When I was a child. What is that? Cuando yo era pequeño. Era, ajá. Cuando, cuando era pequeño, era cuando pequeño. era un niño, cuando era una niña, when I was a child. Okay. So we are going to talk about different topics. First teacher. First school. So remember, please. First boyfriend. Boyfriend or girlfriend. Or first girlfriend. Favorite cartoon. Favorite cartoon. Cartoon. Do you understand the meaning of cartoon? Yes. yes. Okay. Favorite toy. First house. Last piñata. Best friend. First pet. And favorite movie. Okay. For example, my first teacher. The question is, who was your first teacher? You have to write the question and the answer. Who was your first teacher? Well, my first teacher was Miss Gloria Lemon. First school. Mm -hmm. The question could be. Uh, 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 uh. What, what, what was, was, was your first school? school? Your first school. Uh -huh. Let me write that. What was your first, first school? school? In my case. In my case, let me click this well. School, 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 school. Okay. My first. My first school. First school was. Was. Uh, was. Parroquial Santa Ana. Okay. Really? Me. Yes. Really? Yes. Why? What is the other name? The other name? Uh -huh. Of what? The school? Uh, yes. No, that is the name of the school. Parroquial. Parroquial Santa Ana. But it's not in Santa Ana. Uh, it's in San Salvador, Barrio Santa Anita. Ah. Uh, uh -huh. It's in San Salvador. Okay. <laughs> Yo buscando donde era. <laughs> So, I was looking where was that school? Where is that school? I was looking, estaba buscando. Where is that school? Donde, donde está la escuela? Okay. Then, uh, so I want you to complete this exercise okay oh, sorry. in your notes okay you don't have to you don't have to copy or to write the topic only the questions questions and answers okay 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 teacher i will give you um some minutes to to work on this and then when you finish so we are going to use the questions to have a conversation with different classmates okay okay so i'll give you what um 
let's see, six or six minutes. Six minutes. To write the questions and respond the questions with real information. <laughs> real information, okay? Okay. Okay, work.
Okay, did you finish? <coughs> ¿Cómo vamos? I'm finished. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put you in groups. So you practice asking the questions each other, okay? Uno a otro. <coughs> yeah? Desde la primera, no? For example, uh, Gabriel, who was your first teacher? My first teacher was, I don't remember, but I may, maybe she named uh, Araceli. Araceli, ah, okay. <clears throat> Miss Araceli. Yes. Good. And Patricia, who was your first teacher? Patricia eh, Alemán. Uh, okay. <laughs> My first teacher was Mr. Guevara. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. So in that in that form, you are going to interact in pairs. Okay. okay. Question answer. Question answer. Vamos van a conocerse un poquito más. Okay. Okay, join the groups, please. Mm -hmm. Joanna, join the group. Joanna. Joanna, Joanna. Where are you, Joanna? Okay, very Was was uh, Mr. Escobar. Um, and you, in first school, was what was you first school? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> really? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no creo, no creo. <laughs> I don't remember my first 
Uh, my first day in school in the name, in, the name of the school. Ah, it was uh, Reverendo Juan Bueno. Ah, okay. Ah. Very good. Okay. Uh, um, Patricia. Okay. What was your favorite favorite uh, cartoon? Eh, no, pero la, la idea está ahí. Me toca ver. Yep. What was, no, what were your favorite toy? Perdón, ahí es what were también, no es what was. What was. What was. Ajá, sí, yeah. was. Ok. What, what was favorite Toy. Your favorite toy. Uh, sí, el your tool. favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, what? con el your. El your no es el pronombre you. Ok, aquí está diciendo what was your first school. ¿Cuál era tu primera escuela? Entonces, eso es un algo, una cosa, ¿no? Es una tercera persona. It. Por eso usamos was. Pero el, el juguete no es el it. ¿Cómo no? Igual. ¿Verdad? What was no, también estoy, sí. your favorite toy? What was your favorite toy? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. My favorite toy was a um, police car. Ok. Very okay. good. Where was, okay. Where was your first house? My fear, my fear, my first house was in the neighborhood Los Pinos. Ah, okay. Keep working. Y estoy en juego, o es un, oh, un juguete. Juguete, juguete. Juguete, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, la seis. Uh -huh. Where was your first house? My first house, um, pero no sería ahí where, no. Where, mm, pero no. es el otro, where, 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 ah, where, ahí me, where ahí was, me... it's okay. Ah, where, where was, was. Okay. está hablando de la casa, de la casa, okay. Ah, okay. It. My fair house was eh, Barrio San Miguelito in San Salvador. Okay. Okay. And the siete. When was your last piñata? Yo más decir el año. My last piñata was on. 1989. <laughs> okay, very good. Hey. Who was your best friend? Hey, Miguel.
That that question is 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 different. As, la vamos a hacer ahora. ¿Cómo hacer ese tipo de preguntas? Okay. When did you have? When did you have your first pet? Okay. Uh -huh. When did you have? Ah, ¿cuándo tuviste, verdad? ¿Cuándo tuviste? Entonces, aquí estamos practicando was where. Uh -huh. Entonces, when was your first pet? When was no en, con esto de first pet no encaja porque está preguntando cuándo fue, verdad? Uh -huh. oh. O cuando estuvo. Entonces, when did? In, Así. in this case, the question, because we are working with was or where, should be what was your first pet? Ah, what was. ¿Cuál fue? What was your first pet? Mm -hmm. My first pet? It was dog. Uh -huh. My first pet was a dog. dog. Okay. A, uh, Very good. Very good. Okay. Keep working. Okay. Okay, welcome back. Any question with this activity? No, teacher. Yes, I have a question. Okay, tell me. It's a question. Um, a, the topic is best friends. Mm -hmm. The question is beginning, así se empieza, ¿verdad? Sí. Beginning who? Uh -huh. Y in this case, eh, is, is was or where? 
who was your best friend? Yes. Is who correct was... or not? Yes. Who yes. was your best friend? Okay. That's correct. Only that. Mm -hmm. Who was your who was best friend? You, uh huh. Oh, see what is. Okay. No, no confundamos este your con you. ¿Verdad? Porque el sujeto aquí es. Que es plural. No es solo your. you. Sino que es todo esto. Your best friend. Uh -huh. best friend. Your best friend es un él o un ella. ¿Verdad? Es un. No está hablando en plural. Uh -huh. Es un Así. he o un she. Ok, por eso usamos was. Ok. Any other question? The number 10, teacher. Uh -huh. It's which or what? Uh, it's better what? What? It's better what? What's, 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 which which movie do you prefer? Ah, okay. Okay. Titanic or what? Godzilla, for example. Who is the correct? ¿Cuál película prefieres? Titanic o Godzilla. Entonces, ah, okay. Which is to, to give options. Ok. What is the... the ¿Cuál? Eh, what is the correct? What? 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 Así ¿Qué? como cuando le dicen cuál es tu nombre. ¿Ya? What was? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo pregunta oh, cuál what? es tu nombre? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Yeah. What is your name? Okay. Very good. In, in number uh, nine, mm -hmm. WH is who? Mm, no. It's better what? 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 My first pet was a doll, or my first pet was a cat. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Any other questions? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Today we are going to to study start uh, with WH questions. Uh, with uh, did or simple past and WH questions with was or were parecido a lo que acabamos de hacer así que um, vamos a a ver este video ok to Talking about questions, questions in past. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, Where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? 
Well, uh. Now let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, okay. Now uh, let me show you. Okay. Let's take a look to this uh, to study the questions with did. First, we're going to study the questions with did. And in this, this uh, section, okay? This section is questions with 
did. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? Okay. And look at the structure of these questions. First, we use the WH word. Where, in this case. Second, the auxiliary did. Siempre vamos a usar el did for questions. Next, the subject. You. Where did you? Finally, the verb in the present. Grow up. Where did you grow up? Okay. Uh, yes, ya, ya les voy a activar el audio. Ya se los voy a activar para eh, preguntas. So this is the first part. Questions in uh, simple past using did. Again, here the first, when. Second, did. Next, subject. Next, the verb in the present form. Finally, the complement. Here, why, WH word. Luego, did. Luego, sujeto, subject. Luego, el verbo en presente. And finally, the complement. Okay? Okay. Um, Any teacher, la pantalla, teacher. La pantalla, teacher. Ay, eso me hubieran escrito, mira, yo creo. <risa> Solo cuadritos vemos, teacher. Oh, bueno, pero es, es lo del video. Lo que está... ¿Qué pasó, qué pasó? Aquí está cosa. Vale. Sorry. Aquí estamos de nuevo. Vamos a, 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 voy a poner la otra imagen que tengo por acá porque aquí tengo más complicado esto. Las preguntas son bien, ¿verdad? De nuevo, vemos que lo primero es the WH word, ¿verdad? Lo primero en las preguntas, por eso se llaman WH questions. Who, what, when, where, why, or how. Después, siempre, 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 did. Did, ajá, uh -huh, ok. Siempre. Tiempo siempre, pasado, siempre, ¿verdad? Did. Después, el sujeto, ¿verdad? Que puede ser el pronombre. Y luego el. And then the verb, que vean los verbos en presente. Esta es la estructura de preguntas en pasado. Ok. Por ejemplo, armamos una acá. ¿Verdad? Eh, who did. You see. Who did you see? A quien viste? Okay. That is one question. Another question. What did she play? Uh, play. What did she play? Que jugó uh -huh. ella. Uh -huh. Okay. Another question. Podría ser. When did, when did, did, did you, you, you go? Uh, 
go. Y aquí puedes llevar algún complemento, como decir, when did you go to the beach, por ejemplo. ¿Verdad? Podría decir, when did you go to the beach? Go to the beach. Okay. When did she play? A la playa. Otra. Vamos a otro color. Vamos a ver. Where? 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 Where did we we where did we play uh, okay. compliment where dance so where did we play uh, football Football. Last night. ¿Dónde jugamos fútbol la noche? Where did we play football last night? Why? Okay. So, this is the form. Why did they? Mm -hmm. Y aquí podemos armar. Una, ¿Alguna Why? pregunta aquí? ¿Captamos el orden de las preguntas? Yes. 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 Okay. Why did they do? Yeah. Now, the other questions are con was or where? Or where? Okay. Was or where? The structure is different. Okay. First, the WH word. Primero, siempre, la palabra. Luego, was or where. Recuerden que estas son preguntas de ser o estar. Okay. El verbo to be. En pasado. En pasado. Subject, uh -huh. sujeto y complemento. Complemento. Okay. Pas. Veamos. How old. Esta es la palabra de pregunta. How old. WH word. Where. Ok. To be en pasado. How old were. Were you. You. 99. Complemento. In 1990. How old were you in 1990? It was 18. Mm -hmm. 18. Yes, sir. What? What did you major in college? You major in college. In college. college in college. Okay. Bien, a ver, si por ejemplo, vamos a, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer algo. Si yo les digo que me escriban estas preguntas en, um, en inglés. Por ejemplo, oye, que no está el bueno, el mal y el feo, no sabe más. No, sabe. Eso es por unos dólares más. Película más vieja de los 60. De ayer. Ok. Cuando viste a, a, que, a la montaña. Ok. 
Write this question in English, please. Okay. When, 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 when was your your mom? When, when. Esto es con el verbo to be. Ah, perdón, perdón. When did? Excuse me. When did? Ah, when did? When did. <laughs> Next. When did we go? When did go? You go. 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 Ah, you go. Go. To go. You go. To go. When you go. You a mountain. A mountain. The mountain. The mountain. Mountain. To the mountain. Excellent. To the mountain. Yeah. When did you go to the mountain? When did you Ahora. go? Eh, a ver si no se me confunden aquí. Vamos a prueba. Una cascarita. <laughs> a ver. ¿Cuándo fue la fiesta? When was when... the party? Ajá. When did when you party? When, when was a party? party? Ah, ¿por qué no usamos did? Porque es porque ya está en pasado. Cero no. está. Está en presente. Está. Ninguna acción. No hay El ninguna cero acción. Cero está. Oh, no hay otro verbo. Ah. Hey, very good. ¿Cuándo fue la fiesta? Ok, vamos a ver. Esta es prácticamente la misma de la lección. What was your school What special? What What did your what was your especially what was your special no está en la lección your major your major your major major in the school in college or in college in college or in the school Joana, Joana, vamos a ver, Joana, ¿qué pasa con su audio? Yo le doy re... ah, ahí está. Ahí estoy. Gracias. Ok, muy bien. Los demás, yo los activé, pero no sé qué pasa. Activar todo, activar, activar. Ya estamos activados. Sí, es que hay uno que me aparece. Yo tengo una pregunta. Cuando la pregunta que la tengo que pasar ha pasado y dice cuándo fue, cuál fue, dónde fue, por el fue, siempre tengo que pasar a was. Depende que fue es. Recuerden que en español fue puede ser de, de, de ir o estar o puede ah. ser de ir, ¿verdad? Uh, oh. Es depende, ¿ok? Si es fue de ser o estar de was o where, ¿ok? Pero si es de ir, es go. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, ella fue a clase ayer. ¿Cómo decimos esto en in, inglés? In ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? She, 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 esto no es pregunta, esto no es pregunta. Sí, sí, sí. sí, sí. No. ¿Por fue. qué? ¿Qué verbo fue? fue. De fue. ir. Sí. Ir. ¿Cuál es la past form of she go? She, she, she go. go. No, the past go. form of go. 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 
She went. She went. She went. And the class. Yes, the class. To class yesterday. Okay. She went. She went. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Um. Bless you. Hello. Thanks. Okay. What about this? ¿Qué hiciste esta mañana? This is estar. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What? You, what did you, you go this morning? Did you what? What did, did you do this morning? Make. Ah, uh, did what you did, you do? did you do? You do make. No, make es es oh, otro tipo morning. de hacer. Es hacer. What did you morning? Como hacer con las manos. What did you do? What did you do? You do this morning. This morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Qué película viste anoche? What, what movie? What did you? What movie? What did you watch? Why did what you movie? What, what did you see? You, what do you, you see that night? Movie that night. What movie did you see last night? What movie did you see last night? No, 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 very good. I will give you more exercises tomorrow to practice this. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay class. Very good. It's time okay. to go to bed. Okay. Good morning. Hi. Good evening. Good night. good night. I mean, good night, everyone. See you. Good tomorrow. night, everyone. Good night, everyone. everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Sleep bye -bye. in English. Dream in English. See you tomorrow.